Welcome to another episode okay. of Billy Hello. and Jean. Welcome back to Billy and Jean. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I thought you said I. I. Oh, dude, that's what my little niece says. She goes, I. And she waves and she says it to everyone. She's like so sociable and she's like negative one years old. I don't have a niece, so. Aww. Did you a thune? <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> that's gross, man. I'm sorry. No, that's beautiful. I'm Billy. I'm Gene. And we are not, not your, your lovers. lovers. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast section. Can we get a round of applause? Welcome back, you sacks of shit. Sitting on the floor. Yeah, where are you sitting right now? I bet, okay, right now you're sitting on the floor eating food, like a disgusting piece of crap. Do you eat on the floor sometimes, though? <laughs> no. I do. I, I don't really it, mind. It's wonderful. To eat on the floor? Yeah, like, at, at a, like sometimes at the club. Order pizza, sit on the floor, a bunch of feet around me, eating that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like being, like, lower, like, squatting or, and stuff, like, at the club, like, kind of just, like... Getting lower and just like I feel like protected. Like I'm like no one can even see me down here, bro. Like, yeah, but sometimes people step and trample you. Do you like squat when you're in line for too long? Um, no. What I'll do is I'll like put my right foot like behind my left ankle and then buckle my knees together and then like I'll, oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll like, twist my legs. Yeah, I'll like lean my right knee against my left knee. Yeah. Anya made a joke about that to Drew. She said, um, a licorice twirl. Like when you twist your legs like that. Yeah, but like... It sounds like a gay slur. No, that that's... that's I think it's funny, but... Yeah, you didn't laugh, though. No, it's just, you know, it's like... Well, let's just hope she doesn't see this. Um, first and foremost, actually... The Patreon is brand new. Yeah, we actually updated it, guys. You can meet us in person for $5. No, that's, <laughs> that's not what it is. We'll drive you around town and show you the cool mm, spots. Fuck no, bro. Like, you know what? Actually, with the merch in my in my YouTube description, I was like, comment down below if you're getting the merch. And if you are, then like, I'll fly you out to Los Angeles. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, what if I get sued for that? Like, because I'm not fucking flying anyone out to Los Angeles. I mean, if anyone believes that, you're crazy. It's such bullcrap these days. You can't lie. Um, but no, uh, the Patreon is new. We're finally back. People ask about it all the time. We don't even put it in the fucking description anymore just because, like, everything's been so busy, bro, and it's just been crazy. But it's new and remodeled. And hey, I'm not going to lie. It, w- it wasn't the best place for people to go. Let's just say that a lot people, of people got hurt there pe- and pe- killed. People went to help, and I I think we weren't doing a lot of the helping back, but I think we're realizing now that it's time to finally give the people what they need. Yeah, our Patreon up until now has been kind of like, like when you go to like a dangerous part of town, yeah. you know. But now it's, it's like scary. It's dark, and there's nothing there. Yeah, but now there's new tiers. There's a new Minecraft server. Minecraft server. And uh, uh, you can d- get uh, like weekly gaming videos, like like Fortnite. Yeah. Or on the Minecraft server. If you want to see yourself in a Minecraft video. Yeah, I wonder if we'll make Minecraft videos. We should. There's like, there's you can get like a cameo from it. There's like a crazy ass but, tier. But you should go and check it out. We're, we're, just going to make sure that we're actually going to be consistent and we're, you know, you guys are actually getting a good bang for your buck. And, like, we just want to show you that, like, we are genuine people and, like, we do, like, help sometimes. But, like, sometimes, like, we get a little in over our heads. But now we know what we're doing. We're going to try our best to make you guys happy. You're saying you want to bang the fans? Well, no. Not at all. Not even close. That's kind of what you said. You were like, I want to bang you in your buck like some shit. Yeah, like I want to bang them like nails into a house and make a beautiful home for everyone. Give me... AI Gibby, can you turn the 
the volume down. Oh yeah, um, on the headphones also, a little bit. Also, um, on the headphones. On on the laptop. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And also, yeah, of course. And also, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Just fucking say it. Hey, what the heck you trying to do? I'm trying to get away from you. <laughs> yeah, Gibby, where'd what you get this do? fucking sound? Okay, bro. And also, guys. <laughs> okay, no, you're done. You're cut off. And also, guys. Also, guys, we, we got, got the an- finalized fucking expansion pack of AI Gibby, so it just sounds like Gibby. Hello, AI Gibby. Hi, Gibby. Hello. Now it just sounds like him. Now it just sounds, and we also updated like the memories file. Yeah, we killed Gibby and we took his brain out and put it into the AI computer. Uh, basically, foo uh, foo style. Yeah, poo poo style. Oh, what is foo foo style? I don't really know. Um, I thought I'd just say it. Yeah, take out the foo foo. I like that. Yeah, that is foo foo style. Actually, like this song is definitely like foo foo style. I'm getting a new car today. And I don't give a fuck. Like, finally, I'm able to get rid of my piece of Dude, shit. Dude, after the merch car. drop, guess what car you got? Rolls Royce Gold. No, it's giving Honda. Oh, Center? Honda Center? It's giving Honda Center. Oh, like the concert venue? Bro, like the fucking basketball venue. People play basketball there? In the UFC fight I there. I thought it was like hockey. No, no, the UFC fight there. Um, Yeah, I'm getting a new car today, and... I mean, I plan on, like, driving around the town, and I'm not making any stops for the first day that I drive. I'm not stopping for red lights. I'm not stopping for stop signs. I'm not stopping for people, um, like, crossing the street. Fuck you! So, let's see what happens. Yeah, because, honestly, it takes more gas to brake. Yes. And then I don't want to waste gas. And also, I know that one out of the three billion gene members has already hit a child with their car, um, Gibby. And I want to join him, bro. Like, I don't want him to feel left out. Oh. That has never happened. (laughs) How would you know? You're just a computer. (laughs) So how am I driving? (laughs) Tesla. Oh, Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. (laughs) Um, But speaking of the Patreon, we have some (laughs) questions from you guys. Oh, my God. Questions? I love questions. Oh, my God. And first up, guess who it fucking is? Can you even guess her name? Um, Rudy Ginsburg. Maddie Ginsburg. And uh, she actually, this is a little weird because Gibby, uh, the computer, ate some, um, <laughs> ate some Panda Express earlier. We have to feed him. Um, just <laughs> through like the USB drives and the CD drive, we put some food in there. And uh, Maddie wants to know, does your stomach hurt after you eat Panda Express? For me, it's a yes. I just ate the orange chicken. I didn't eat the rice and I feel fine. <laughs> The so. orange chicken, though, has dairy in it. Isn't that crazy? Uh, in the sauce, I'm sure. It's in the breading of, like, the chicken. Because it's breaded. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Because I realized lately, I'm like, when I eat Panda Express orange chicken, I feel like to shit myself. Um. So, yeah, it does hurt my stomach. So, you're full of lactose intolerant? But, yeah, it's like, oh, that's what I've been trying to tell you for, like, two months. Um. Like, run the clips back, like, I've been telling you. Um, you just tell me too many things at once. It's hard to, like, I need to write it down. Like, My know. name is Robert Blackwell. Um, how to break up with someone without severe emotional distress. That's from d Text. Yeah, just text them. Um, kill one of your parents and then blame it on that. Be like, oh my god, like my mom died. Don't do that. Uh, That's ju- not a good just idea. Just be honest and talk with them and explain your feelings. Genuinely. There's nothing wrong with that. No one can hurt you for it. Or um, do like a flash mob. Flash mob and then pull her pants down and then say like, I'm breaking up with you. Pull her pants down. Dude, honestly, I hate the bigotry that comes out of your mouth sometimes. Oh, me? What? Like, women aren't allowed to get pants? Exactly. Everyone's allowed to get pants. Girl, I agree. I agree. Girls agree. feel left out. They want to get pants. Um, yeah. Go and girls, in the streets and pants some girls. Girls kind of have it better, if you think about it, because... Yeah, just, true. Just mm, because... No, like, listen to me. Milkshake. I'm listening. No... Mm. Because they uh. 
I think I already made this point last week that they get free fucking slime. Like, their body just produces slime, bro. Like, that's not fair. Yeah. Um, It does, like, discharge from the Vajinana. That's free slime, bro. Like, what? Uh, we don't get any free slime. Yeah, s- straight up, like, when I'm on the slip and slide and the water stops working, I can't go on it again. But girls, they go back and forth, back and forth, even when there's no water coming out. Because what? They got their own water. They got their own slip and slide that they're That's slipping in. That's true. That's true as fuck. And also, you don't even have to get in there, and you don't even need the water to... Um, we're having some technical difficulties. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're back with a question from Mary. Have you ever missed your period and thought you were pregnant? No. Have you? Give me an answer. Um, no. Have you ever had, like, a, a pregnancy scare, though? I get. I mean, I got a period one time, and that was scary. Bro, that was just blood on toilet paper that you sent a picture to me, that was from your anus. Yeah, but one kind, of, one time it came out of the hole of my penis, and I was in school, and I was so scared. Wait, did you really pee blood? Yes, sir. I never pee and, blood. Okay, good advice. This is what I did. Ignore it. When you pee blood, don't do not tell anyone. Don't tell your doctor. Don't tell your parents. Don't tell anyone. You'll see if it goes away first. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel with most things. I'm like, bro, like. Do not I'm tell gonna anyone. see if it goes That's away dumb. first, and then if it persists, then yeah, maybe I'll go to the doctor. But like, still no promises. Like, I don't have health insurance, bro. Like, and also I don't have time to be like sitting at the doctor's office like a fucking nerd, being like, uh, yeah, like I've been peeing blood, and like my whole body hurts, and my whole left side is numb. Like, who the fuck has time for that? Genuinely, who has the time for that? Um, when was the last time you had a physical yeah, from like a doctor? Yeah, like self-conscious as people. Um, I don't know, a couple, maybe two years ago. I've never had one. And that's why you feel like happy and good all the time in your body? But I think that is why, because I've never gone to the doctor like ever in my adult life, ever. Honestly, since I was like 10. Dude, every day I go to the doctor, every day when I wake up, my dad's like... Last time I went to the doctor was when I thought I had syphilis. Um... And and that was and that was biggest, Parenthood. and that was the biggest mistake you ever did. Yeah, because they told me I didn't. And, and there you I go. I could have started like a GoFundMe. Because bruh. if it happens one time, don't act like you've done the crime. Yeah, but no, I've never. I've had a pre- no, but really, have you ever had a pregnancy scare like with a girl? Um, like where she's like, "Fuck!" Like I think I'm pregnant. I mean, like, I would be like, uh, like over. Uh, I I would be like extra conscientious about it. Like, I would be like, even if I thought, like you know, I didn't like pull out right or like the condom or whatever. Like, I would be like, okay, we gotta do plan B. Like, even even if there wasn't like a week or something. Like, I mean, not like we gotta do plan B, but like, like it was like that was the mutual like, vibe. You, that was like the mutual it. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It it wasn't like we you know. I had one recently. Did I tell you about it? Um, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I had one recently, and I was, like, really... Like, it, she, it was, yeah, was just late kinda, or something? Yeah, like, like, a, like, a week late, almost. And I was, like, oh, fuck. I was, like, bro, because also, like... Pull a game, we... No, but there was one time, like, a few weeks before, I want to say, like, two or three weeks before, where I was, like, I feel like I didn't pull out... All, like, I, I just feel like it wasn't... It wasn't how it usually is. Like, I didn't feel as slick as I usually do, bro. And, um, so I was really scared and, uh, dude, just like going into like target to like buy a pregnancy test or like anywhere is so uncomfortable. Um, and I was like, just let me run in and grab it. Like no one's going to look at me weird. And she was like, no, like I'm gonna come in with you. And I was like, bro, just stay in the, like, you'll want to stay in the car. Like it's fine. Um, and she was like, no, I'll come in with you. And it was so awkward because the line was so long. Um, and you have to like ask for it, right? No. You have to ask for plan B. Oh, what were you, you getting? Pregnancy test. Dude, so y'all immediately just went to that. Well, she was already a week late. <laughs> plan B is for like the morning after, or like the they, few days go following. Go plan, to plan C. Plan C is an abortion. That's, that's plan D. That's plan A. 
I mean, I don't know. I'm not ready for a kid. I'm really not. I think... I mean, we've talked about it a lot on this podcast. I'm really not. Um. Anyways, it was awkward getting it. Yeah, it was awkward as fuck. And long ass line. Dude, like the longest line ever. And I was like, Brad, are you sure you just don't want to go to the car? And she's like, no, I'm fine. And like, just like hiding it. Like, just <laughs> is, uh, and I, I think I also got like a pack of grapes. Like... <laughs> And because I really wanted like watermelon or like some fruit, like I was feeling dehydrated, and all they fucking had there was grapes, and I was like, okay, I guess it's grapes and a pregnancy test. Um, Good combo. And I just wonder, like, what goes through the person who's checking that out? It's like mine. Like they're like, okay, you have a pregnancy test and grapes here. Like, what's the story? If I was, I would love to be like a Target cashier because I would be piecing things together all the time. Yeah. Like that's so fun. I think like a little Sherlock Holmes. I oh, am. Yeah. I f- I feel just at home, you know. What's your favorite movie of all time? Um, Bark Bark Street. My favorite is Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler. What about you, Gibby? Hotel for Dogs. Oh, wow. oh you do yeah, love Hotel for Dogs. Love that Damn, movie. Damn, this new upgrade is good. Gibby, bro. they like no Gibby, Gibby loves dogs. Gibby's a dog guy. You know, I thought for a little bit you were a, you were a cat guy. You were a little. Close. I like everything. Oh, I'm just allergic. Gibby likes everything. He's just yeah. allergic. Yeah. I have debilitating ADHD. How do I get better at time management? Um, manage your time better. Get a job. Wear glasses. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you have debilitating ADHD, Adderall might be not the way to go for you, but it might work. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Weirdly, like. An SSRI ended up helping my ADHD a lot. Uh, but that's just me. So I don't know. Weigh out your options. There's medication. There's therapy. Just there's be a creative. Apps. Just be a creative. No. Yes. <sighs> it, oh, my God. It, it's a superpower. It's not something holding you down. It's holding you up. Right. It still is. Like, it. What? It, it still is. It still even is. if you're, like, a creative, like, I think it's still, like, dude... No, it's so Having good. Having ADHD it, in school though was the worst possible. It's thing so ever. good for improv. It's so good for improv. It's like not though. It's so good for improv. The thing is about my ADHD is I feel like sometimes when I want it to work like that, it just doesn't, and I'm like, oh, cool. So, no, um, dude, you gotta focus and be on the ball. You can't be thinking about fucking what you're eating yesterday for Tuesday. Oh, that was from Francis Kosarit. By oh, the way. oh my God! Thank you, Fran. Um, and then and Mary also said, "Can we get a midnight at McDonald's featuring Lucas?" Um, that's a question for you. Maybe like literally, like maybe you guys like run into me and hit me, and I'm like homeless. With the car, guy. yeah, that would be fun. Maybe we should start doing like cameos in Midnight McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know. That would like make me nervous. I feel like there's like a um, uh, like a lot I would have to like live up to. Like I don't know, bro. No, we literally just go in the car for like. Two I know, hours but and, like, it's like a out. special thing. Like you guys have like a special feng shui. Your mama has a special feng shui. Well, you eat your mom's ass and get brown all over Stop, your teeth. Stop, bro. Like, what? that's fucking gross. Like, that's gross to say. Wait, what right? did he say? He said that I eat my mom's ass and that I get brown all over my teeth. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting, right? Like, it's one thing to say, like, yo, like, I'm going to bang your mom, whatever. But to say, like, you bang your mom, like, you eat. Like, that's gross, bro. <laughs> I found the one way. Yeah, and I know that's how you're like, but I finally beat him at his own game. And it's like, no, bro, you're just being fucking gross. <laughs> like, no one's laughing except for you. The more power to you than it is. It's it's just, you I, I'm so happy that you, like, feel how I feel now, dude. Be like, no, don't fuck my mom. Like, whatever. And he's like, what? It's a joke, bro. It's a joke, bro. Madison and Barker what said, what's your subway order? And that's for Lucas only. Cool. I won't say what mine is, and neither will give you. Just uh, you. Foot long. Yeah, you don't even know. Ham, lettuce, and flaming hot Cheetos. Who told you to do that? Gibby. That's what Gibby taught me when I was in grade school. He said, put flaming hot Cheetos what, in no there. With no sauce or anything? Um, Olive. You don't put mayo on it? Or like anything like that? It's dry I, as hell. No mayo. I hate no, mayo, No, I, I too, get vinegar. I get too, vinegar, salt, and pepper. Vinegar's bomb. Oh, okay, you get like oil too? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, that's it. Um, what's the weirdest interaction you've had with a fan from Emily Palacios? <laughs> Uh, I feel the, like we've talked yeah, about this the before. Dumpster guy. I oh, will the say, dumpster guy. No, recently oh. though, we had a show in Arizona or something, and there's someone who like came up to us in the alley as we were unloading. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were they were very nice, but they were like 
they just didn't look like someone who would be a fan of our music, I guess. Yeah, like a lot older. And, and like kind of a little skinny, a little shaky. Um, yeah, just like I, I, I wouldn't expect them to be like, they're very to like, see them at a great show. Like soft spoken a little bit. Like, hi, like can I get a picture? And, and just it, one of the pictures. I, and I didn't even see I them at the show. That's the thing. No, uh, what we did later is we saw like tagged, they tagged our band and like a post that they made about the show. Yeah. And they like filmed like a couple songs and then someone, I, I like oh, clicked really? on the video and the comments were like, post the full set. Like, come on. And then the guy responded with, um, this barely has any views. Like, I'm not gonna post it until it starts doing better or something like that. And yeah, you think he sold the photos for like ten dollars? Dude, I think he was like, um, he does that for every band that comes in town. That's a, that's. And he's like, impression. maybe one day it'll be worth something. Yes, yes, I sir. I got bad news for you, buddy. It might be worth something. It might day, be worth a not. million dollars. Um. Also, thoughts on zodiac signs. I don't give a fuck. So, um, I think they're fun. I think they're kind of like um, bingo. Um, what's like? Uh, they're kind of like fortune telling. Like it's fun to go sometimes and be like, oh yeah, this this might happen. This might happen. You know, like this is fun. You know, it's. I think zodiacs are fun. Yeah, I think if you're basing real life decisions the off killer? of, oh here we go. No, not the zodiac. Give me just said the killer. Hey, cause he's thinking of the Zodiac Killer because that's where he knows the word Zodiac from, and I don't think he knows what Zodiac signs are. Yeah, you know what Zodiac. No, I know Zodiac signs. Yeah, like a Taurus. Yeah, yeah. It's like what sign are you? You're you're a Scorpio. You're yeah. Scorpio. Damn. That's dangerous, that right? That is dangerous. That's dangerous. <laughs> but I think male Scorpios are supposed to be less dangerous than female Scorpios. I don't really don't know that much about it. I what just does know that, that Taurus is. I'm not dangerous. I'm a hey, Taurus. Actually, and Taurus can we read lit. it? I want to like read what the descriptions are. Okay. What it, what does like cusp mean? I know there's like that's like if you're born on a certain you're day. You're a Libra. No, he's a Leo. Oh yeah, it's some of that. For Lucas. I like my Leos. <laughs> uh, <I> okay. <laughs> so this is the male Scorpio. What you need to know about Scorpio men. Oh. He goes after what he wants. He's usually confident and aggressive. <laughs> That's what he portrays anyway. He's highly sensual and loves to please. He's brutally honest and can come off as mean. He tends to be overprotective, jealous, and possessive, but he's very passionate and he knows how to get revenge. He finds it extremely hard to forgive a cheating woman. Bro, what? That sounds crazy, bro. Give me your aggressive. That does sound a little crazy, guys. Does that sound like you? You're aggressive. That doesn't sound like you to me. Yeah, thank you. Apparently, you're very mysterious. I I would agree. I don't know what that means. I think there's some crossovers. You're passionate. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I see it. Like when someone betrays you, you want to get revenge? No. Well, I do. But like it's my own type of revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like I'm going to kill you or hurt you. It's yeah, like, it's more like... Hey, I'm going to play games. Like, I'm going to mess with your head. Like I'm not going to talk and party chat. No, yeah. I'll just, I'll just be <laughs> quiet. I just want to talk to you. Okay, this is Leo Men, which Lucas is a Leo man. Hi. He's a sweet talker with a charming sense of humor. He may not always <laughs> think so, but he knows how to turn it on. He gives good sound advice, sometimes a little too much. He's courageous and will defend himself and others in love. He requires a lot of attention because he likes to feel wanted. He's shyer and more sensitive than he portrays. That's like actually really accurate. That is like accurate That's as like fuck. Spot yeah. I don't think anything was off about that. I think I need attention because I'm lonely. That says in love, <laughs> like in a relationship. That you need like attention. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I know. I I like that one. Leo. Leo has like a good one. Yeah, that's a very good one. What it, What I are like you? Leo's. I'm a Taurus. So oh let's, shit. Let's see my. Hey, what if it was like Taurus? Is this where names Taurus? Like, <laughs> Tauruses are dumb as fuck, <laughs> and they eat their. Mom's what month ass. is that? What? What month is Taurus? Um, Taurus is May. May. You oh. don't know Jersey's be there. Yeah, what the fuck, Gibby? I know your birthday. It's May. It's May thirteenth. It's May sixth. Are you kidding me? Did you ask like me my five birthday? years. <laughs> May the sixth be with you. He's gonna remember that. No, it's May the fourth be with you. And my day, my birthday is the day after Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that's awesome. I yeah. know oh, it always gets overshadowed. It's kind of a bummer. Um, bro, I can't find a <laughs> summary Stop. for mine. Like, what's my summary, bro? Tourists don't get summaries. 
it's pretty cool you're like off the grid Taurus personnel no one really talks about Tauruses that much like I see <laughs> yeah. good stuff and a lot of bad stuff about all the signs but I just don't see anything about Tauruses on TikTok like no one talks shit on them no one's like they're lit Okay, Taurus personality traits, unwaveringly loyal to those they love, no hardship can break them, um, accompanied by the green-eyed monster. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? That's me. I have green eyes. Oh. Possessing the patience of a saint. <laughs> That's their way, very true. Their way, their way is the right way. That's true. That's true. Enjoying life to the fullest, <laughs> taking work seriously, unwilling to leave their comfort zone. True. <laughs> Bound to have a good time between the sheets. That's true. I'd be <laughs> fucking. Um, and more eager to possess than love. Oh, I don't know. That seems like no. Toxic. That's true. Like your car. I mean, I just want a car that works. <laughs> That was a good one. That was pretty accurate. Yeah. These have all been pretty Dude, accurate. Most of the time with Taurus, like the big things are like, they're always just like, they're like pretty lazy and they like love to eat food. That doesn't say, it was, it, it said work. You love to work or something. Yeah. They say that because I have a Scorpio moon too. So Scorpio moons tend to be workaholics and they keep all their feelings in. How do you tell your moon? Like what's moon sign? Yeah. You didn't, That's get, you like, didn't show our moon. Oh, well, you need to know the day. The date, the time, and the place oh, you were born. What time was I born again? <laughs> I don't remember, bro. How am I supposed to remember that? Come on. Uh, you were looking at my... Like, like once. It's 444, I thought. No. That's so cool. It's not 444. It was, like, weird. It was, like, one... It's like, one something. Yeah, it was something... Oh, God, I can't remember it. Sorry. I, I only it's remember okay. my... Uh, my birth time is 420. Ah! That's easy to remember. I know. Smoke it and took it. This morning, I waked and baked. I woke Grace up and I was like, yo, you want to smoke? Oh, shit. And you guys and hit the bomb? Like, yeah. She and I was like, I have like, some flour. I she's like, I work Gibby. in an hour. Um, I stole some flour from Gibby when we were helping him move and I got a bong. I've been smoking like a lot. Is it Rick and Morty? Oh, you took that? Yeah. Were you actually looking for it? No. I, I took I, the gun too. Or, Sorry. It's not a real gun. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, yeah, don't fuck with Gibby. No. I'm not. Um, <laughs> should we do a few more questions and then sure, just yeah. move on? Will you guys ever come out with merch? Maybe. Yeah, it's going to be a, a big barrel and Donkey Kong's holding it. It's going to say, Billy and Dean. Or no, we should release like a barrel costume. Like a barrel <laughs> that has straps on it. <laughs> we should we should release like uh like um like scooters. I actually really wanted to do like a soundboard keychain. Oh yeah, put you some were talking of about Gibby's that. like sounds on That'd there. That'd be cool. Um also one of the tiers on the Patreon it makes it so that you can add a sound to Gibby's soundboard. Just saying. Um have you ever had a bad experience with another content creator? Fuck yes. Like creating content with someone? Or no, like just like another content creator, like someone, someone who's like on IG. Yeah, I have. Have you? Um, I'm trying to think. Ooh. I've had a lot. A lot. A lot. Um, honestly, no. I just know there's like definitely something. Let me think. Actually, I remember one time I met I Justine. No way. Um, I met Idristine several times. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. What do you mean? Like way back in the day, like VidCon. That was the only reason I went. <laughs> really? Just because I, I wanted that. to meet Idristine. Oh my god! And you're just like hi. Yeah, I was like hi. And then like she's like hi, and that was it. You got some pictures, yeah. Dude, no, you didn't. Swear because if you life. had pictures with Idristine, you'd have them still, and you don't. I really don't have them. You don't, and it's because you're full of lies okay i mean if you ask grace bro i think she was there dude there's no way you don't have those photos i just seen use your life i'm surprised you don't have it framed there was a picture of fulcrum and i just seen together so i guess he was on the same wave everyone's everyone's mean her shit she was lit but um i don't know i've had like weird experiences with people like i don't know i don't want to name drop anybody though that's really interesting. Why? You tell me. You're the one saying that shit. 
What's the worst experience you've had with another con? Yeah, you and Josh like went to VidCon and shit. Yeah, but it was really fun. It was like very formative. Oh, okay. Like no bad experiences at all. Um, um, Bryce the, I, Hall I, I, beat I, the fuck out of me. Hit I, me in the face. Oh, that was that was yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, you remember that, right? Yeah. No, one time I was hanging out with Emma Chamberlain. Dude, I swear to God, she um, brings me in the. She what? Who's Emma Chamberlain? She makes coffee. Drinking mocha frappuccinos for breakfast <laughs> with three cigarettes, drinking a bottle of wine at right, night. I didn't know you put that on the side. Not sleeping and traveling and working. Drinking like mocha frappuccino for breakfast and having three cigarettes. Um, what the fuck are you going to say? Say whatever you're going to say. Um, cool. Doesn't even matter. Oh, it doesn't even matter? Dude, one time I remember Chamberlain, I was like with her, like hanging out. And she was like making coffee. I was like, oh, like, here, actually add this. Like, this is like definitely like the best recipe. And she's like, oh, that's interesting. And like five years later, I swear I got to try her coffee. I'm like, no way. It's the same recipe that I gave her five years ago. And it makes me think like, that's not true, bro. You don't even drink fucking coffee. I mean, not anymore, man, because <laughs> every time I see coffee, bro, I, s- I like, that's all I think. That's all that, that that's all I think about, man. And like, and sometimes it gets me so stressed out because I feel like how many times did I give ideas to someone and they just rip me off and I don't even get any compensation for it. Like I should at least get like 10%, 5% or something because okay. I can. All right. David Dobrik's whole squad fucking sucks. They're pretty cool, honestly. No, they suck. You suck. Dude, they they did good pranks like dildo up ass, like kissing guy. Like they did good pranks. No, I'm saying like when we've like been around them when they're around. Um, it, like I was only around them like one time and it was actually pretty fun. They were just like screaming and like kind of crazy. I only met Todd. I think there was a video of like me screaming in his face. Oh my god! Yeah, can we insert that? No, we can't. I don't think so. Lucas is like fully naked in it. Um. Yeah, I don't no, know. No, actually, I don't know because the thing is, is like we don't really like. I mean, at least me. I know, I know you go out way more than I do, but I don't know. I don't really like hang out with like creators. No, we don't. I don't either. Like that's the thing, is like, and usually whenever like we're at parties or whatever, it's usually just like dancing. Like let's go get a drink. Let's have fun. Like, yeah. No one killed a vibe. Like, just have a good fucking time. You like, know? the Vine parties used to go crazy, though. I'll tell you that much. Really? Yeah. I never went to... <laughs> one, one time, like, at Casey's house, mm-hmm. like, I was, so, I was, like, the most hammered I've ever been. And, like, outside, they had this, like, basically little concrete patio. And then past it was, like, grass and stuff, like a backyard. Mm-hmm. And there was just, like, one big couch just, like oddly just like right in the middle looks like they like didn't know where to put it or something Mm -hmm. of the concrete and i'm like sitting drunk as i've ever been like losing out a little bit and like i just go (laughs) like all over the concrete and i go for like a two time like i do it like two big ones and then i just like look around no one's there i get up walk inside boom oh my god oh actually you know there was one person i didn't like I'll I'll say his name now, but we'll bleep it. Um, he was there, and he was being so fucking annoying because it's like, he's like in the Lele Ponds, like David Dobrik, like in the Cool Squad, and like he was coming over to like me and Josh and being like, yeah, dude, but like what you guys are doing is like so fucking sick. Like honestly, like I'm so over like these other guys. Like what you guys are doing, like he was like trying to be cool with us like that, and it's like, bro, like. You're the biggest goober of them all, bro. Yeah. You're the fucking biggest loser of them all, bro. Right, yeah. That's, uh, that's like, really how it feels, though, is, like... Or how it felt for, like, a while. is like, those bros... Like, it, it took a while in my head for me to click, but I was like, bro, L.A. really is just, like... High school archetypes, like, in the sense of, like... Okay, these are, like, the cool popular normal kids and they're all like really rich and do really well and like get great brand deals and get netflix shows and then we're like the loser gay like band freaks sure you know what i mean which like sounds so lame but and and i never want to think 
of us or like myself like that but i was like bro that's like what it is you know like which i'm fine with that like fuck the money but um i mean dude it's always it's so weird like um like to be the most popular i think to you have to make your content like marketable and commercial yeah you have to sell out a bit. You, you have to sell out a little bit and like I'm um, fine selling out now, bro. I don't give a fuck. And, like, it's just, it, it, it is, like, I, it's really hard to sell out in a cool way. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, very easy to do it in a lame way. And it, it's so easy for, like, um, I don't know, like, a, an alternate group to form to, that constantly criticizes all those popular kids. And it's <laughs> yeah. just, it's like, these guys are fucking annoying, blah, blah, blah. And then there's the other group of, like... You know, the weirdos, I guess. It, I feel like through all the social media, it's always been like that. People who are unwilling to sell out and people who will sell out. And, yeah. like, at the end of the day, people who sell out have fucking money. So they, they don't give a shit that they're getting clowned on all fucking day. Yeah, because that's the thing, too, is you meet some of those people and you're like, oh, some of them are, like, actually yeah, really super, funny. Yeah, super cool. And, like, cool. really cool. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, wow. Like, you really just are, like, a business person. Like, mm-hmm. you just know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, which is respectable. Like, I respect that. You know what I mean? And at this point in my life, I'm like, damn, like, yeah, like, the yeah. timer for selling out is kind of running out. Got to do it soon. <laughs> um, like, me and Anya were talking about that. And it was just like, bro, I wish I, like, sold out years earlier yeah, and, like, yeah. fucked, like, all that pride shit. I remember, shit, dude, like, my parents would tell me, too. They were like, y'all got to sell out. And I remember me and Josh, like, like, especially on Vine, it was so taboo. Like, like dude, I remember posting, like, an ad read or something all the comments would be like fucking sell out like what it was like really really frowned upon and it it yeah i think it, it's the t- once it runs out now. then it's like oh fuck i actually kind of need to sell out now and it's doing yeah it. it's kind of a little more lit now Dude, like now people it's fully acceptable yeah. it is the way to watch youtube videos you see the ad and you skip over it yeah. and you're almost like happy for them you're like cool they're getting their bag like Dude, yeah getting, that's always how people I, are when ha- I see that i'm like good for them yeah bro. people like, are happy about it now yeah. And it's changed so much. So <sighs> much. Imagine if we got ads on this podcast, how crazy that would be. Dude, we got them, man. I feel like it's <laughs> the easiest thing. Like, why are we not getting ads? I feel like we just have to reach out to one person, like people we don't even know we exist. I, like, check the email every now and then. I'm just <laughs> like... I, honestly, okay, this might sound lame, but I've my, <laughs> my dream in life has always been to do an ad read, and I want to do it in, like, a funny voice, and I want to make it really ironic, and I want to make, like... Okay, n- actually, never mind, never mind. That's your dream? I'm going to be like, hi, everybody. The new um, uh, gel guys is here and ready to stay. Yeah, like, and then you I would send love it back to, to gel guys and they don't approve it. Yeah, they're and they're like, like what the fuck, fuck is, is this? this? Take this out of our, the, your video, block us, and never talk to us again. Yeah, what and we're taking money from you. We're not going to give you anything, but you gave us our bank info already. So one time I got scammed. <gasps> On a brand deal? No way. Yeah, you remember that? No, the, that fucking lamp? And you're educating Gibby on scams when you even Dude, know your I didn't get shit. scammed. Oh, yeah, yeah, Gibby's fucking sweatshirt came, yeah. which is lit as fuck. It's Our a AI Coraline Gibby. Nike. Yeah, it's a Coraline Nike sweatshirt, and I really thought it was a scam. But yeah, it wasn't. Josie saw it, he's like, definitely a scam, Dude, no it chance. like a scam. And like, I was telling Gibby, I was like, bro, this website is the realest thing I've ever seen. You're so good. That website yeah. was a piece of shit. They're just a new company. They're yeah. an independent company. And people are, like, posting their shirts that they got, and they're, like, reposting those stories. Well, basically... Is, yeah, how'd you get scammed? Bro, I got scammed from a fucking lamp company. Lamp? A lamp. Lamp. Dude. And it was, like, deep in the pandemic. I was broke as fuck. We couldn't tour. I wasn't able to film. Like, field trip got canceled. I was broke as fuck. You were in your Baroque era. I really was. And I was like, they hit me up like over IGDMs and I was like, mm, okay, like, yeah, sure. Like they were like, we'll pay you this much to like post a story. And I was like, cool. But there was no contracts or anything. The thing is, oh, okay. when you do a brand deal, there's yeah. always a contract. Yeah, there's always a paper sure. that you sign saying like, I will post this and you will pay me. I didn't fucking know. Um, and there always should be. I didn't really, I was like, that's kind of cool they're doing no contract. Because, like, I had done brand deals before and done contract with it. But I was like, that's kind of cool. They don't even have a contract with their managers, truth be told. They're casual. And, uh, yeah, I posted it and they They never responded. They just never responded. And Uh, I, like, DM'd them and I was like, yo, for real, like, give me my fucking money. That's the point I got to with them. Like, I was DMing them, like, scary shit. Because I was like, why didn't you put them on blast? Because I was like, that's humiliating. 
Yeah. To be like, oh, like, guys, <laughs> remember scams. that, that lame-ass, like, lamp? Because the thing is, they sent me the lamp. Yeah, no, what I would do, Josie, oh, this would have been so smart. I wish you told me this. What I would have done is then posted another story of and smash up the lamp in a box, and, like, in the <laughs> box that they sent it to you, and be like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, this lamp company just sent me this lamp. Like, what is happening? You know, and just be like. <gasps> and be like, they're a scam. Like, they, they send you broken stuff. <laughs> I just didn't want to put. Po- like, I had already posted the brand deal. Yeah, I was, no, like, hyping I, it up being like, smarter. guys, go check out these lamps. They're awesome. And yeah. then, like, two days later, I'm like, by the way, guys, when I posted that, I got scammed. <laughs> uh, and go, yeah, like, tell report audience, these people. Really shit. Like, but. Yeah, fuck them. Gleam lamps. Gleam lamps. Fuck them, bro. If you see them, don't buy shit from them. They're liars. They're just trying to get off the ground. I don't care. No. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> I'm annoying the fuck out of the people who follow me. Like, you better pay me at least to Have do that. Have you guys ever scammed someone, Gibby? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yo, fuck yeah. On yo I world. played the fifth. Oh! oh! I scam a lot of people on yo world. Like... How? I mean, there would be, like, scams. Like, it would be, like, I would tell people, like, oh, I can double your coins. You just have to trade all of them to me, and oh, I'll double them, and I'll send them back to you. And it was just because that's what happened to you, and you yeah, just... Yeah, like, I needed way. to build my shit back up, bro, so I'd And, be like, like, would they, like, come to your house every day and be, like, fuck you, bro? I know, I'd block them. <sighs> you can block them. That is so brutal. <laughs> that is so <laughs> brutal, dude. That is so brutal. I would just like quit the game. I'd be like, I'm done. I'm turning on my computer. I mean, it was small <laughs> fish back then. It was like they'd send me like three million coins, like, and I'd be like, okay, cool, thanks, and I'd kick them out. Thank you, bye. And there were other scams too. Like, I can't remember the other one that I did a lot with my friend, who also played. We would like, I don't even remember what it was. God, but yeah, we we scammed like a lot. Or you would like upload like naked pictures to like the frames that they have in the game. You can like upload, upload your whatever Facebook photo. pictures, yeah. And uh, dude, so we would do that, and you could sell those to people. <laughs> like it would just be like we would. I would just look up like boobs, like <laughs> and then like put it in a picture frame and be like, I'm selling this for like 50k. Like come yeah. buy it, and people would buy the <laughs> fuck out of them. <laughs> Um, that wasn't as much of a scam though, as much yeah, as just like, like a, a good, why was I doing that at like, that twelve? Is so weird. But also, I mean, I was twelve, bro. Like, of course, I was doing that. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, it's like why, but also definitely. Yeah, but that's like the extent of my scamming. I like stole shit before, but I don't know. Have you ever scammed me? I know you've snitched. And <laughs> I have never snitched, bro. You literally snitched on the guy who hit you in the head. You went to the cops. The I didn't next want day. to do that. Was like a parent thing, bro. You went to the police station. You were like, "This is him." Yeah, and nothing happened to him. I just showed him the Vine That's post. That's what you think, bro. He's been sitting in prison for 15 years. I wish, honestly. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. You think he deserves prison for 15 years? <laughs> Fuck for what that guy, bro. Fucking tweaker hitting me and shit. Like, dumbass bragging about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even want to go, bro. I, yeah, I'm not a scammer. I don't think so. I don't think I was scammed. Like, I, I don't know. I'm never... I don't know. I I think I'm too guilty for it. I don't think I could do that. You scammed me before. What's what? You've been like, oh, go inside, buy me a vape. <laughs> like, I swear, <laughs> I'll pay you back, bro. I do. Do I not? Uh, it all balances out, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Then uh, I get you point, fucking McDonald's the yeah, next day. Like, like at this point, yeah. get you Chipotle. You know who fucking scams is Orion. <gasps> I think Orion oh. is. I think I'm convinced that Orion has like. 15 to 20 iPhone chargers at her house. Oh, she just takes them. I think she does, and I don't know if it's because she thinks that they're hers, like, or if she's making a collection, like, or what it is, but that's what we've narrowed it down to, is I'm like, I think it's Orion, bro, because, like, I'm not the one fucking taking them. I never have a charger. Like, I'm always the one... Mine's always getting taken. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're I you're the victim. I mean, it's not you, right? Um, no, I mean, I, I've seen your room. It's not you. <laughs> yeah, what happens when you ask me to charge it for a yeah, charger? Yeah, you just point and you're <laughs> like, uh, I mean, you ask me, you're like, charger? And I'm like, bro, <laughs> this is your bedroom. I don't know. <laughs> and my phone is just at zero all the time. Have you ever stolen a charger from somebody, Gibby? No. Never? Never. Have you, Lucas? I think Gibby accidentally, probably. What are you trying to say? I'd yeah, be like, I'd be say? like one time, like, I don't know, like, he'd be like, 
you're like like <laughs> right right where, where am i yeah i don't know bro you keep spacing out during this episode like you're just kind of like you'll start to say something and then you wait like 10 seconds and then you just kind of sit there and you say where am i you're like a fucking old person bro <laughs> bro like literally like i oh my god i was hanging out with my girlfriend's like <laughs> grandma this weekend for like a bit she was like house sitting and we had to basically go like babysit her because she's like really old and she's been getting like dizzy and shit um fucking annoying <laughs> <laughs> no like it was fine it was fine it was just like so hot and like in the middle of nowhere um but no, it was fun it was and there awesome. was no wi-fi and there was no tv there there was just this fucking bird what were you guys doing dude we were just talking to this bird for like two hours like because it's like her uncle's house or some shit and like he has this bird and it's like one of the big gray ones and it like talks um and yeah it's just weird it's a parrot yeah but it's like a gray one it's a scary one though like the way it talks is really scary how is like hello yeah and like when you're it it only talks when you're like way across the room and it'll be like talking to you be like yeah i know and i'm like (laughs) bro you are fucking weird like you are the killer like you're actually gonna kill somebody (laughs) if we let you out of that cage i know i'm gonna be fucking dead (laughs) on the floor so uh like how like do they have tongues like how do they they do have tongues yeah they speak yeah. English, man. That is so scary. I kind of asking for the yeah, Wi-Fi. Dude, and then when you're actually <laughs> trying to talk to them, they won't talk. I'm like, bro, what the fuck Dead is the Wi-Fi silent. password? Won't say shit, bro. Because I don't know the Wi-Fi password. There. No one knows the Wi-Fi password there, and there's What's no the TV. What's the Wi-Fi password? It wasn't saying shit. But basically, that's not even the point. We were my girl's grandma. She, like, doesn't speak English that well. Um, She's, like, she, she just speaks Spanish. And, but she was, like, trying to tell us this story about, like how she they had to move her grandma's body in the cemetery i guess like they were moving it to a different plot or something years after she died and she said that they gave her all the bones to hold while they were moving the casket the grandma said that yes and i was like bro what the fuck are you talking about like (laughs) she was saying that and then she was talking about because like it was her grandma's bones and it but it was like her mom's mom you know (laughs) and she was like she was talking about she was like i had the bones and then my mom was all like she was like like making fun of her mom for crying about it i'm like bro she's seeing her daughter hold her mother's like dead body bones right now like also what like am i understanding this story right because there's also like a language barrier so I'm pretty sure, bones. like, like we were talking about it later, <laughs> and I was like, she was saying, like, bones in her hands, right? And she was like, and, and my girlfriend was like, yeah, definitely. And I was like, okay, but, like, whose? And she's like, I think, like, her grandma? <laughs> Bro, but I'm like, I don't fucking know. She also, like, worked at a cemetery. Like, I don't know. She lived, like, a lot of her life in Mexico, and I'm just like, bro, what the fuck is going on in Mexico? Like, why are they giving these little girls their grandmother's bones when they're moving them in the cemetery, like... I don't know. I think just, like, she has a weird relationship with death. She, like, really likes death and, like, ghosts and shit. And t- she talks about, like, it just talks about it a lot. Yeah, she talks about it a lot, and she's, like, very comfortable with dying. Yeah, my grandma. feels, like, almost excited to die. Um, my grandma kind of says the same thing, but it's more of, like, well, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, her I'm grandma. Just, I'm getting old. Her grandma's just always <laughs> like, uh, she's like, maybe I got like five years left. Yeah, yeah. She's like, and then I'm good. She's just like, she just is kind of like, I don't know, I'm still going. I don't know what's happening. Right, I know some old people, I'm just like, how the fuck do you... Because also, I didn't really grow up with a lot of old people. Because my grandma died, my grandpa died, my other grandma died. Like, I didn't have any like grandparents really for a very long time. So I really don't know how to and act And it's so weird because you're people. such an old soul. And I also didn't... I didn't have many grandparents going... You had your grandma and just, your yeah, other grandma. Yeah, I just had my game games. And my, but my other grandma lives in Arizona, yeah, so I wouldn't see her as much. Um, well, I, I don't like... I just... I don't think... I don't think it's that I don't like old people. I think it's just that I don't know how the fuck to talk to them. Totally same. I'm like, bro, what do you want to talk about? Like, what am I supposed to talk about? Like, my worst nightmare genuinely is going on, like, a two-hour road trip alone with, like, an old man. 
Dude, like honestly, a really old I, man. Like Josh has kind of taught me the way. It's like you just like don't treat him like hi. Like don't treat him like like, like a, a baby. baby. Like just be as like almost to- like totally normal. Like you're talking to one of your friends. Like. They just freak me out. And just be like, yeah, like, what are you talking about? You know, and just, I don't know, just treat them normally. Yeah, I mean, they just freak me out because it's like, they just freak me out. No, I, I honestly get, I, for some reason, like, get, and they usually like, a stink. weird type of anxiety that I don't get around, like, anybody else. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like a specific, very specific type of feeling, like, yeah. pit my stomach where I'm like, I'm barning. Every time I'm talking to an old person, I'm just like, I'm I'm fucking up this conversation. But I know. Somehow, every single time I end up bringing up Judy Garland, I'm like, so do you like Judy Garland? Oh, that's your go-to? Because I'm like, they're fucking old. And half the time, they're probably like, no, what are you fucking gay? And then the other half the time, they're like, um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you think that being gay isn't a big deal. This isn't true. It is a big deal. It's your heart. It's your connection to your fellow travelers. Um, it's who and how you, get you that? love, how you will be judged. Was governed. that just from the internet? I don't know. AI Gibby? Lucas sent that to me. Oh, we can send sounds to AI Gibby? I'm not going to lie. Um, It was an ad. It was an ad on Twitter. <laughs> for, a, for a book that they thought you book, should read? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, What's the book? And I was like, not interested. <laughs> the book is I Am Gay. Um. Yeah, what was the book? Yeah, it could be like dude. I don't. I don't, I don't I, something about being gay. I don't know. Doesn't apply to me, dude. Yeah, I'm so fucking sure, bro. Your mama is so fucking ran through that when I try to bang her, bro, is like throwing a hot dog down a fucking hallway. It's like she uh, didn't even feel it. Uh, your mama goes to Bangkok, but not for the location because she wants to Bangkok. Okay, well, your mom is so fucking stupid, um, and she's such a, such a, she so ran through as well that she didn't even bother learning the ABCs, bro. She just went straight to the STDs. Your mom is so helpless. She goes to the doctor and asks for psychiatric help. You said she's helpless? You call my mom helpless, bro? <laughs> That's like could be your mother in law one day, man. <laughs> Think about that. She could see this. She watches the episode sometimes. Um uh uh Yeah, try again. Your mama is, is so cool and nice. Your mama is so sweet and nice, she made like the best children ever. Okay, well your mama is so fucking ugly and ran through she belongs in a fucking zoo. Technically, like, would my mom be your no mom in law? No, you'd be my brother in law, though. (laughs) (laughs) What's up, LB? I want to start giving you nuggies and shit. Yeah, well, your mom is such a fucking old ass motherfucker that she was in the same yearbook as Jesus. Um. Give you got any good ones? Nope. Not even like one? Nah, not one. <laughs> not even like your mama's so like stupid or something? Or your mama's so lit? Um. Your mama's so lit she goes to Coachella and she ends up having like actually a really good time. Nothing? Um. Yeah, nah, I don't got any. Uh, your mom is so rancid when her husband leaves the house. She goes, oh, like, I'm going to fuck the dogs now. That's disgusting, bro. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to, bro? I just, I'm not talking to anyone. Uh, your mom was so dumb. Uh, she failed grade school and is waiting at the bus stop for a new life. That doesn't even make any fucking sense, bro. She's waiting at the bus stop for a new life. <laughs> Dude, I'm flopping pretty hard right now. It's just talking about people fucking dogs, man. <laughs> I'm yeah, not I mean, doing I thought too that good. one was kind of funny. No, that one's fucked up, man. <laughs> That's like horrible, man. Yeah, you know, your mama is so smart that uh, that when they were looking to send a, the newest rocket to Mars, 
They're trying to send a rocket to Mars, right? They got her on the team. Do you think if someone tied bricks to your feet and pushed you in the pool, you could swim up or no? Nah, I'd die. You, you know, do you think you could? I mean, if they're like light as a feather. They're like pretty heavy. Um, but do you think you would like go into survival mode and like, do you think you'd make it? Maybe. I don't think I would. It's only one way to find out. Do me, me, and my friends would do that when we were younger. Well, you tie bricks to each other's ankles and push each other in the pool. No, we just with like weights, we would jump in and have them sink us to the bottom. One time, my brother rode a bike into the pool. That's cool, Christian. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's like pretty rock and roll. He got in trouble for it, what? like big trouble, because it was like, bro, that bike costs fucking money. Did he go off a ramp though? He went off like the roof. That's sick. Dude, he's a he's pretty uh, cool. Rap scallion. He's like a it's like hot rod scoundrel. And you know what? I'd rather not hear anything for the rest of the day because I'm gonna go and get my new car. Okay, guys, let me ask you this real quick. So lately. Like, I've been looking at you guys, and, like, I can tell that there's, like, something, like, going on. Like, I feel like there's something deep inside of you guys that's kind of eating away, kind of chipping, like, day by day. And I was just wondering, like, would you guys be down, like, on Sunday, like, just real quick? Like, we don't even have to, like, be there that long or, like, finish the sermon, but going to church and stuff. Like, I was seeing, like, us three, like, as bros, like. The three of us? I thought you were talking to the viewers. No, I'm, I don't want to go to church on Sunday, especially not with you. I know, but... I'd go with Gibby. I know, but that thing that's chipping away at you, like... No, bro. If I go to fucking church with you, you're gonna be, like, trying to tickle me and, like, fucking, like, fuck with me the whole time and, like, make me laugh. Yeah, I think you're the thing that's chipping away. Yeah, I think it's you, bro. Maybe we need AI Lucas, bro. Like, maybe a drum machine for Greer. No, that I think that's cool. You guys want me dead. I think that's actually really cool. It's oh not my God, no one said that, bro. No, no, you guys just don't want me to be here anymore. No one said they want because you Because I'm the thing that's chipping away and making your life horrible. You know what? How about this? You brought this up, bro. How about... How about this? How about we all go to church in the middle of the service, just fucking hanging body me? What does that mean? That's awful. He's saying he's going to hang himself <laughs> in the middle of the church. No, shit. I had that idea on tour to do that, yeah. to like, at a venue where we had like curtains, you know, like the curtains open and it's, and it's just my body. Like, I, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't your life like you'd remember that concert? I wouldn't. I'd be dead. I know. I was the fans, man. Like I'd be like, oh Dude. yeah, they would never forget it, bro. They'd probably never go to a concert again. They they no. Um. I mean, yeah. And that would be the last concert they ever went to. Would you still play? Yep. Just with my body hanging there? Yes, sir. Would you play like a march? Like yeah. <laughs> I'd play the greatest drum solo of my life. Who's the person that had the hooks in their back? And they're like flying? Oh. Pink. Doesn't that, didn't someone do that? Pink. Uh, yeah, but you're thinking Pink. of like to their skin, right? Yeah. Oh. I can't remember. Marilyn Manson. Would one you of do the that? rockers. I Marilyn would never Manson. do that. Really? Ugh. No, I'd rather throw up. Lucas like, that would, would. Make me throw up. I know no, Lucas would. I'd rather die. But Lucas what? always says that he wishes <laughs> that his drum chair for his drums didn't have like a seat part to it, and it was just like the pole, because the seat part like attaches, and that he could just sit down on the pole and like kind of sink down. Gradually. By the by, the end of the show, you don't see my head. Do you understand? Um, where's your head go? No, he just kind of sinks down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Because because yeah. the pole is going farther and farther up his um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up um, his butt. That's yeah, his I, idea. He I, says that a lot. Actually, I get the picture. Um, I think it would be. I don't know. I think it'd be good motivation. I'll tell you this much. <laughs> we also want to get Lucas upside down, like in the drums, like suspended. Oh, dude, like, there, there's That'd these things cool. where, like, they have, like, cages yeah, for like the drummers, rotate, yeah. and, the, and the, yeah, they'll rotate it, go upside down all around, and they'll also, like, 
They have one where they like went across the top of the venue. That'd be so awesome. I assume you'd be upside down the whole time. <laughs> Dude, your face is like purple, down. bro. Yeah. <laughs> or Lucas also had the idea to cut a hole in his chair for the drum kit and have a trumpet under there <laughs> so that he can fart into the trumpet, question mark, I think you were saying, and like have it go to the microphone. What if when you like dropped the drumstick, it went like up? Um, like drop down someone's head? Not like if you're upside down and you're playing the drums and you drop it, it goes like still yeah. to your feet though. So it's going up, right? Because you're upside down. It yeah, but my feet head. would be against the top of yeah, the cage. Yeah, it, it would go to your head. Yeah, so if you dropped it, what if it went up? Yeah. To your feet. Do you you mean my feet? Because my head would be upside down, right? Yeah. And if I dropped a drumstick, it would go upside down, right? Yeah. 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 No, I think that'd be... Yeah. That's the thing. I know. Because when you drop a drumstick, it's like, fuck. You know? It's like, I can't just grab that. I was just saying it would look cool if it just went up instead of going down. Like anti-gravity? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, like that was be... the only thing that was anti-gravity, just the drumstick. I'd like to be an anti-gravity <laughs> in an anti-gravity <laughs> machine. Um... Like where I just or like in space, like in space, I want to be like that, like weightless, like I can just like float around. Ugh, I don't cool. think any of that shit's real though. I think they're lying. What do you mean? Hot take. I think they're lying. Yeah, I think they're lying about that, but I think the aliens in Mexico are real. Fuck no, dude. Are you kidding me? The little dude. They look like they're made out of play-doh. <laughs> <laughs> the little guy. Like it's just so funny. Like, what was like, it? It was like it was like, like, it was like camel bones or something. I forget what bones they actually were, but it was so funny when I found out like what it actually was. Oh, is that what it really is? Yeah, it was like some other animal. It was like some other bones. That like, was a camel a skull or something. It wasn't a camel. I forget what it was. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't think. I I feel like it's just like a race now, for every country to be like we have aliens too. Mm-hmm. Like now that's like a thing. Like it used to be like nukes or like space. And now it's like no, we like we discovered aliens like way back then, guys. And then Dude, another country's like, them. no, we're bro. really close with them. Oh yeah, and it's like <laughs> none of you guys have ever spoken to an alien. Let's just be real. Dude, it's so hard to tell. I don't know. I mean, nah, bro, I don't think so. I think they're out there, but I don't think they have any interest in us. Yeah, I, I, I mean, there's no doubt there's other life, mm. but have they come here? We're probably like the most uninteresting, like ecosystem ever yeah i feel like they w- it would just be like a drive-by I'd be like oh, I'd be like, oh right. that's weird no i think the aliens out there are like plants i think they're like they don't talk like they just like drive machines and stuff and like do their daily tasks and they're just like big ass like huge plants do you think they're like as ugly as your mama or do you think maybe they look uh they would make them look a little better You want to be done? <laughs> Let's just be done. Guys, uh, there's a new Fortnite video up on the Patreon and all that neat stuff we talked about. So if you want to go check it out in the description. And there's nude pictures of Gibby. My name's Gene. That's there's not, not pictures of Gibby. There's naked pictures of me. I mean, That's not true. They're AI. Dude, imagine if we started doing that. They're AI oh. generated. They're not AI generated. <laughs> Gibby doesn't get a say. Um, you wish. I didn't get a say, bro. <laughs> Wait, but aren't you AI? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Next week, get ready for AI Lucas. <gasps> and guess what? I'm Billy. And I'm Gene. And V are, are not, not your, your lovers. lovers. Give me pizza.